this is one of my favorite. This is the pull apart challah. Yep. Doesn't require rolling into ropes. Super duper easy. Always comes out looking gorgeous. Yep. So you can make it in a round. You can make it in a round challah pan like I showed you in lesson one, or a spring form pan also makes it comes out really easily. So just line the bottom with a little bit of baking paper, with a sheet of baking paper. We're going to lock it in, and then I'm going to cut around. Okay. So this is similar, right, in theory to what we did when we were creating the balls for the first time. Yeah, basically we're, we're re-rolling it. It uh, gets some of the, uh, the proving gas out of the challah. Right and it uh, rejuvenates the dough so that it can give a final spring. Okay, great. Should I start placing them? Yep. Okay, so depending on the size of your dish, you can work with anywhere from seven, eight, or nine around the perimeter. Yeah. And you want to leave a little bit of space in between each to give them room to proof. Yeah. Now this is great because you don't need a knife. You just rip off a hunk. Yeah, and everyone gets, well, we'll talk about that in topping. Yeah, topic. yeah. Everyone their favorite. Yeah, everyone's going to get their favorite topping. We'll talk about why I call this Shalom Bayit Chala, which means peace in the home at the toppings lesson. You'll just have to stay tuned for that. Now there's two ways that you can bake this off, and we'll show you in the finished shots after. You can just do the perimeter, and I'm gonna place this, like you could put a ring or a glass in between, and you can actually bake it, it will come out like with a, a center open, and you can put your honey dish in there, Obviously or any kinds of toppings. As long as this is like Pyrex heat right. proof. And, yeah. Very good, <laughs> yeah. yes, it should be something that's oven proof or heat proof, like a cookie ring or a glass Pyrex. You'll bake it like this, and then when you go to serve it, of course you take this out, flip it over, and uh, fill it with honey, or whatever you're, you might, special dips or spreads, you could do that during the, you know, during the year. So we're gonna do a ball in the middle now? Well, now we're gonna do a ball in the middle, yes. So this is sort of like the classic pull apart, kind of like a flower look with a ball in the center. You can make the ball in the center the same size or slightly larger. And again, don't worry that they're touching. They will proof nicely. We shall egg wash these babies as well. Okay, great. And then we're gonna put a little bit of plastic wrap on top yeah. here and let this rise beautifully. And this is like, again, one of my favorites, sort of no skill, gorgeous every time challah.